Good evening and welcome again to Wire to LIW Shack. Uh, this time it's um, well, it's a short presentation about the SGC radio SG2020. It's a compact radio. It covers from 160 to 10 meters. The 25 watts output. It's very, very solidly built and uh, very sturdy radio. Uh, it's an interesting radio, uh, it's with a silent and sensitive receiver and uh, it, uh, it is a good radio for portable operation like um, uh, SOTA, uh, YOTA and other portable um, um, uh, Whiskey Fox Fox uh, operation because um, uh, it delivers more than 20 watts output which is a plus uh, compared with uh, FT817 and other radios uh, with the maximum uh, 5 or 10 watts output. So this is a sample audio from the internal speaker. So the radio it features a passband tuning, which is very effective in case of interference. Just press the passband tuning, and with the main knob, can adjust the passband tuning. Have the uh, CW speed, the CV carry side, noise blanker inside. As the light, the light can be uh, turned off. Uh, 350 amps on the receive, and uh, uh, depending on the power, uh, the, the power output on the transmit. Uh, just a second. The power consumption. Uh, here, mm -hmm. maximum for the maximum output po output power 44 amps. 4 amps. Actually, this is the box of the radio. This is the original box with a lot of uh, ideas of uh, antenna installation, antenna mounting. And uh, even inside the box has some instruction on buttons and so on. 20 watts radio from 1.8 to 29.7 megahertz. So this is the original box. Maybe that's back. Me back on receive. We have an RIT, RIT function. It's very useful. We can work split with this radio. So it has two VFOs. Uh, we can easily change the bands by pressing and holding the MAM uh, button. We have two, uh, two possibilities uh, or three possibilities for every band. For instance, 160. The second one. Uh, 80 meters, one, two, uh, uh, two, only two per band. It's like a double band stacking register. 
uh, 7.39, 7.139 and uh, 3 on 40 meter of 30 meters to position for 30 uh, 40 meter uh, 20 meter CW uh, 20 meter DG mode for instance and 20 meter SSB uh, 17 meters with CW and SSB uh, 15 meters with CW and SSB 20, uh, 12 meter and of course 10 meters uh, very easy to change the band using this combination Western will stay a little bit on CW what it's a, uh, an advantage is that you can adjust the bandwidth by pressing bandwidth 400 Hz here one to 100 Hz, this is the minimum bandwidth on CW you can notice the clean you know, sound pile-up and when there's a pile-up we can adjust the, the bandwidth it's a very nice with a very silent receiver it's a single conversion receiver but very silent Sideband. We have the bandwidth also on single sideband 2.7 Good signal for North America Also on the cluster 14277 W1AWS. It's a very, very nice receiver indeed. The audio is even better on an on a external speaker. Or on headphones, it's even better. You know, right now, it's a little covered by the uh, by the SWR and power meter because I wanted to, to show you the power output of the of the radio. For this, I will set up a uh, put the I'll replace the antenna with a dummy load. Show you the power output on, on every band. So let's back to start with 160. 
the power output is 13.8